what is carpal instability? Carpal simply means wrist, wrist instability. If you fall over on your wrist and you hurt your wrist, you can tear the ligaments so the bones in your wrist no longer move together in a well-organized pattern. And what happens is they either separate completely and then wear out and get arthritis, or they separate when it's under load, sort of a dynamic instability. So it's, it's a difficult concept to grasp. But here's the story. If you fall over and land on your wrist and you've got pain and swelling, no matter how short-lived, one, two, three days or a week, you have done something in your wrist and you need to get a diagnosis. So you need to have a clinical examination, which may or may not help. You need x-rays, CT scan and an MRI scan to work out whether you've got carpal instability. But in a lot of cases, you still won't know. We need to put a 1.9 millimeter arthroscope into your wrist to define if you have instability, what part of the wrist is unstable, whether or not it's dynamic and how dynamic that instability is, because all of that helps. So in essence, if you've got carpal instability, it's either opening up and coming back, it's a really slack open up and come back, or it's got an endpoint, or it's statically dissociated with or without instability. So what do you do with that? Well, if it's a dynamic one and all the bones look like in the right place, you may be able to retrain your muscles to balance your wrist. We're getting good results in up to 80% in dynamic instability with an endpoint. So you do a really comprehensive wrist exercise program, your body may be able to stabilize it. However, if the wrist is too unstable, the muscles simply can't balance the wrist, in which case you may require surgery, which will involve putting a tendon around and through the bones to tighten the wrist up so the bones can't separate. The problem with that is that operation works in about 70 to 80% of cases. In 20 to 30, you may need further surgery because it simply can't hold the bones together. So if you get this injury acutely, you fall over and it's diagnosed early, it is treatment. You need surgery because the indications or the, the literature would indicate, the literature would indicate that you've got the best possible chance of a good outcome. If it's chronic, it's long standing. Then we try to manage it with exercises, or if that's not possible, you need surgery to tighten up the wrist. That works in 70 to 80% of cases. You will have a, what, is, what, is, what does work mean? Work means that you've got a reduced range of motion, a stable wrist, a pain-free hand, and you can return to function.